Okay, hi again. This time we're talking about domain along with function operations. We're being asked first here, <clears throat> what is the domain of f and f of x is x minus 1? That's a straight line. Its domain is going to be negative infinity to positive infinity. Here's what it looks like on the grapher. x minus 1. Zoom 6. Okay, that's x minus 1. Now let's look at the square root of x plus 3. Okay, so second x square. Now if you have an, uh, a TI-83, you're going to have to use parentheses here, but we don't have to if we have a TI-84. So x plus 3, and then I move to the right to let the calculator know I'm done. And I hit enter. No, I don't. I hit graph. All right, this is the graph of the square root of x plus 3. Notice it starts at x equals negative 3 and then goes to the right forever. So the graph of the square root of x plus 3 is going to be ah, bracket negative 3 to infinity. Now let me show you how to do this if you're just working with paper. You know that if you have the square root of anything in our number system, you can't have a negative underneath the radical. Well here we have x plus 3, and it's got to be positive because it sure can't be negative. Well, it could be 0, but it, in fact, whatever is underneath the square root radical, if it's in our number system, has to be greater than or equal to 0. So x is going to be greater than or equal to negative 3, which means our domain will be negative 3 to infinity. Okay, so you can do this on paper or you can do it um, um, <laughs> on a computer. Okay, now, so we're going to check our answer. You see, I know what's coming next. This is what's coming next. Find the domain of f plus g. And there's a catch here. Only, it, only where these two domains overlap are you going to be able to find x plus g. There's no g over here. I mean, uh, uh, the, the domain of f of x equals x minus 1 goes from negative infinity to positive infinity. So for all values of x over here, there is no g to say f plus g. So we have to take where the two domains overlap, and that's going to be starting at x equals negative 3 and going to the right forever. So there we go. Fantastic. Now, we're being asked, what is f plus g of x? In other words, we're going to be adding f of x and g of x. So f of x plus g of x is going to equal x minus 1 plus the square root of x plus 3. And that's that. Okay, let's go to the next one because I think it's more interesting. Here we have f of x equals the square root of x minus 3 and g of x equals the square root of x plus 3. Let's do this one on paper only. Okay, now f of x equals the square root of x minus 3. 
So the domain of f of x is going to be x minus 3 greater than or equal to 0, which means x will be equal to or greater than 3, which means the domain of f is going to be 3 to infinity. And here it is right here. Now, the domain of g, well, g of x equals the square root of x plus 3, and yes, we did do that last time, but let's do it again. That means x plus 3, if we're looking for the domain, x plus 3 has to be greater than or equal to 0. So x is going to be greater than or equal to negative 3. So the domain of g of x is going to be negative 3 to infinity. Now let's look at these. Well first, there we go. Okay. Now we have to find the domain of f minus g. All right, we have to find where these two domains overlap. So if I were graphing f's domain, if this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, I would have 3 to infinity. And if I were graphing the domain of g, here's negative 3. Where do the two domains overlap? They overlap here. So we can only use the part of the graph that goes from positive 3 to infinity. And now they're asking us, well, what is it? Now this is going to be really easy. f of x minus g of x which is what f minus g of x is, is going to be f of x, the square root of x minus 3, minus g of x, the square root of x plus 3. And there is no way you can combine those terms because they're not like radicals. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to type, what am I going to type? I'm going to type x minus 3, And then I'm going to hit the right arrow key so I can come outside. And then I'll hit minus. And then square root x plus 3. And now I'll check my answer. And there we are. 